I'll just see that um, Lisa Montgomery Simpson was on. Lisa, I don't know how long you're going to stay on. You may already be off. You may have just popped on and said hello. Um, but if you're on for just a minute, please let everybody tell you from this page how much they enjoy your family's Tuesday tunes. Um, I got to be in church with Lisa and Robin and Jeff Sunday, and it was just amazing and I love their Tuesday tunes. Um, they're not quite as long-winded as I am, <clears throat> but I love to hear them sing. Their family's harmonies are so, so smooth and so beautiful. But if you can, um, tell Lisa Montgomery Simpson how much you enjoy the Tuesday tunes and how much, because they work that in on Sunday um, while they're out and about because they all live far distances from each other. But um, thank you, Lisa, for popping in. I'll go back and play this whole thing.
Okay, I don't know. I have no clue how long we've been on. So um, it's that probably means it's been way too long. Yeah, Minister Don, hello. Um, wow, it's good to see you on here. I hope you're not overdoing it. I hope you're taking care of yourself, Mr. Don Lloyd, that, that we requested prayer for. I made a post and over 800 of you responded by either liking or sending him hitting the care button or um, making an actual comment and saying that you were praying for him. And let me just tell you, um, my little friend Peggy Lynn <clears throat> Jones that I made a post about last week, um, she had COVID and she's been at the Medical University in Charleston, our, our big hospital in South Carolina. And she's non-communicative unless you know her. So it broke my heart to think that Peggy was in the hospital with, without her mom to um, intervene and intercede for her. Um, and she was on a, on a ventilator and had been for a week, but um, her mom posted a picture today. They took her down and took the ventilator off and Peggy had the biggest smile. She actually looked, I told Gina, my sister, I said, she looks so good her face is so so fresh looking she had so much color in her face so I, I thank god thank you for praying and i thank god for hearing our prayers for peggy lynn jones um peggy's a special person to all of our family my my personal family um and mr don you're important to me to my family and to this facebook family and we certainly are praying that that god walks with you these next few weeks through everything that that um, that's scheduled or not scheduled for you to do. Um, I pray God will walk through it with you in a mighty way and walk through it with Miss Julie, Miss Judy while she's sitting waiting for you to do whatever the doctors have prescribed. Um, I just pray that you that both of you will feel such a warm tenderness and such a comfort. As we, as we have talked about, I hope that peace will attend your way. And if it does, it's well, whatever it is. Um, I pray God will give you strength and uh, give you rest, give you rest that heals you. Um, and my friend Kathy Hughes, who had, um, I can't say all these words correctly, um, bacterial pneumonia, I believe that's what it was called. She's still recovering. Say a prayer for Kathy tonight. Kathy's a dear friend of mine and, and just a dear person to this page. Been a huge supporter of this page for a long time. And um, just pray that the Lord will touch. Kathy, I wouldn't say that publicly, but Kathy has requested prayer for herself a couple of nights ago. So if you would remember Kathy Hughes. So we'll begin to wind down. This is our first closing, I guess. And, I, and I've just completely lost. Uh, Lois, go ahead and shout glory. It's all right. You're 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 in company that, that we don't mind if you do that. Um, yeah, Lisa, thanking the Lord for a good report from Peggy. That was amazing today. She still has a way to go. But um, to, to have her mom in the room with her is just, um, it's, it's precious to know that she's not having to walk through this um, alone because that's, it would be tough for us, but for Peggy, it would, it's even more tough because of her, her situation. So thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord for peace. <laughs>
read some songs I've never even heard of, so <clears throat> I've got to get my pen and paper out and <clears throat> excuse me, um, I'm not getting sick, this is just me. Um, it was um, 70 degrees here today and it was about 40 yesterday, so it's just the change in the weather. So anyway, all right, we are, we are winding down. Um, I've been on too long. So uh, I guess I've tried to play everything that I know. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Peter, I even played some songs with some bass notes for you. Wasn't that fun? Um, I love that. I can tell you the time. Those, and, and we forget about those words. Um, Satan led my soul astray from the straight and narrow way. But to Jesus, I then pray. He heard my prayer, answered me that very day. Isn't that great? <laughs> lots of requests for it. I'll play this one, this secular one, and this ends it. Okay. Thank you. 
I said, for those of you who don't want to hear me talk, just go ahead and sign off. <laughs> but for two minutes, um, I'll do some Valentine's. I'm not sure um, what night, but you guys tell me when you would rather have it and don't get upset if I don't play any of those nights because I have no idea what my schedule is going to be this weekend. Um, I have a full slate already, but um, if I do anything, I'll try to do it at 7 o'clock my time, somewhere around 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So, um, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. I think Monday's, Monday's the 14th, I believe. So, real quickly, tell me what night, and that's all you need to say is just the night. Friday, uh, Saturday night, Sunday night, or Monday night. Okay, I know we got a delay. Y'all usually have opinions whether I ask for them or not. So, <laughs> Betty, you're so welcome. I love the hymns. To me, there's nothing prettier in, in, in words um, than, than the hymns. The, the, the writers of the hymns really knew, really knew words. Okay, so we got a Sunday and a Monday and any. <laughs> All three, yes, right. I might have to charge if we did all three. <laughs> yes, just one, please. You're killing me. <laughs> oh, how we danced. Uh, um. what night so um okay i'll let you know as soon as i can schedule it um but i would say right now it's going to be sunday or monday and somebody tell me i know um there are several people who have started playing a game on monday night um do you know whether cameron yes Mon monday michael pancake plays at 8 30 so if i did if i did seven i could do seven to eight um does Cameron or James play, Cameron Cody or James Kelly play on Monday night? I'm not sure. Um. Anybody finds out um, if Cameron or James, um, I will play before Michael Pancake. How about that? Um, Sunday Super Bowl, that is right, and I should have known that. Um, so probably Monday night will be it. So, yes. <laughs> Monday um, is usually what he does on Monday night but you know he'll come on just whenever so <laughs> and we don't ever want to preempt Mark my goodness he's wonderful um, and I always like to, to listen to him too okay so so Cam and James probably will be doing something you say getting ready for that that live with Mark um, oh boy okay 
Okay, so what I might what I might try to do then is uh, Monday night, seven to eight Eastern Standard. I'll post it and let you know. Okay, but we'll plan to do all love songs. All um, um, I may throw in some sacred love songs as well, and I'll just probably sit here and play and watch your comments. Okay, y'all have a great rest of the week. Um, thank you for letting us do this three nights in a row. It's really been fun for me. It's been relaxing, and I, I appreciate you all staying in. Oh. <laughs>